Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Colu TV for another pre-match show ahead of tonight's game against Hartlepool United. If you're not here tonight, you can watch the game live on iFollow for just £10. And that's not just in the UK, that's anywhere in the world. On the show tonight, uh, we'll take a look back at a previous game against tonight's opponents uh, and we get the thoughts from the dugout after Saturday's defeat. But first, let's take a look back at the goals and the game from Northampton. It wasn't our day on Saturday, but this evening gives us a new, fresh opportunity to put some of those things right. And we'll be looking to take the maximum advantage at home tonight. Likewise, with this little run of four games we've got, let's get some home momentum going. Let's get the thoughts from the dugout on Saturday's afternoon's game. Now with the words from Wayne Brown. Uh, Wayne, I don't think you could have anticipated that. Uh, no, um, anticipating losing 3-0, no. Um, I thought, believe it or not, first half I thought we were the better team on the front foot. You know, the amount of regains we had in those central areas. Uh, they tweaked their system and changed their system because of it, half hour into the game, because uh, we was on top. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, as, as, as well as we sort of opposed our game onto them and, and we battled really hard and, and, uh, and we came out on top, I felt, uh, first half in, in that aspect. The game's won and lost in each box. Um, there was two free headers from set plays, uh, one that they score from, and that's criminal. You know, you, you cannot justify that in in any league, at any level, in any country. You cannot justify giving teams free headers in your own box. Um, and ultimately, you find yourself 1-0 down in a game of football where there's nothing in it. But honestly, there's nothing in it. We've probably had more shots than them in the first half, um, and I honestly believe that you know, you know, we were on the front foot and and, and opposed ourselves on them. So it's not all doom and gloom, you know. But the reality is, we've got to be better in both boxes. I think we lacked confidence, penetration, uh, ruthlessness in their box. Um, I mean, you come out for the second half, and you're staying in the game. You know, one nil down at Northampton, you stay in the game. And ultimately, you can see the second really early, and then it is a bit of a man into climb. Uh, the lads showed a great reaction. We, we still had the belief uh, going forwards. We, we made positive substitutions to try and get another goal. We hit the post. The keepers made a great save. Um, and again, you, you look at the, the balance of play, and it was probably in their half in, in the second half. So I've got no real issues in the way that we approached the game and 
and you know our enthusiasm, if you like, to, to take the game to them and, and, and win their individual battles. But ultimately, defensively, we were really poor. Even someone like me knows, you just do the, the checking up and so on, the reputation of Northampton Town is that they're a threat from set pieces. You can work on it all week, but in the end, you, you've got to rely upon the players to do their job. Well, any team's a threat if you give them three headers. So, regardless if it's Northampton, Walsall, Scunthorpe, if you give people three headers, everyone's going to be a threat. Um, so, again, it's not acceptable, and that was made clear in there. You know, defensively, we were really poor today. Uh, and the bottom line, there was too many people off their game in the, in the defensive third, and not just the defenders. Uh, too many people off, off their game in the defensive third, and, and we lacked penetration in front of goal. Um, but, yes, we've lost 3-0. Is there loads in the game? Probably not. Is it a 3-0 loss? On paper it is, but probably not on the reflection of play. But listen, there's going to be disappointments this season. There's going to be disappointments for the team. It's now how we react. It's now how we bounce back. We've got a real big game, um, and they're all big by the way, on Tuesday um, against Hartlepool at home. And it's about now we need to get reaction out of the lads, and they need to give us a reaction. Wayne's thoughts there from the weekend's game and uh, we'd like nothing more than some of his thoughts to be coming into tonight's contest. It's been a case of fine margins. You know, Judge's effort had bounced in off the post. You know, it could have been a different end to the game, but make no bones about it. Northampton were always going to be a difficult a difficult ask going up there, uh, well organised and sitting third in the table. So it was always going to be a tough game. So let's start again tonight. We get the final word from Saturday's game from Cold Scuse who made his way up to the press box after the game. Cole, how do you and all the players feel after that heavy defeat? Uh, it's a huge element of disappointment, as you can imagine. We've, we've come to a, a side in Northampton that are flying high in the league. And we've given them a real... We've given them a real good go, but to come away from a game losing 3-0, having conceded away we've conceded, it's, it's hugely disappointing, as you can imagine. It is, it is, and to concede from a set piece, my guess is all week you're thinking Northampton, they're a big threat from set pieces. You yep. do all that all week, and then 70 minutes gone, and you concede one from yep. a set piece. No, no, we've done loads of prep as well. Yeah. Uh, like you said, a big physical side. We've lost the first contact, then they get a huge hint of luck. It took, to, it took a huge deflection off of, I think it's off Junior's heel. Um, and then you, you, you're climbing an uphill battle against the side, like I said, they're good at what they do. They're on their own patch, so to go one 0 down through a set piece is really disappointing. Then you come out second half. I just think even before you get the second half, thanks to you, you don't concede from another set piece because I think you cleared off the line. Uh, yeah, uh, that's just a case of being in the right place, right time. I think it's, it, like I said, you're giving yourself an uphill challenge conceding against a, a good side at, at home you know, due to a set piece. I just. Just wonder uh, what more you can do as a team during the course of the week in terms of the management and the experienced players when you know the opposition threat from those set pieces. What else can you do? Well, it's not it's, it's not a case of, of neglect. It's we, we've left no stone unturned, and that's testament to the, the new staff that have come in and the boys um, that are marking at set plays. It, it, it's just one of the things we spoke to the ref as well because they were they were quite cute at what they were doing in terms of blocking and. We feel it might have been a foul, um, but they got away with it, they got the goal, and, and that's, that's you have to sort of applaud them for that, really being, being street smart. I think you knew you wanted to make improvements in the second half, but yep. that was a terrible way to start the second half, giving the second goal away. It was, you come in at half time, you, you, you think you say all the right things, you do all the right things, you come out with the intentions to get straight back in the game, and then you, you can see from a. You have to give credit to them, it's a great finish, uh, but it's, it's, it's definitely avoidable to build up leading to the finish is avoidable. You had your moments in the second half to make a contest of it, not more so than when Alan Judge shot comes back off the inside of the post. Yeah, no, it's got, it's, you can probably tell from my tone of my voice I'm, I'm hugely disappointed. We've come to a, a place where we feel like we can come in and get a result. Um, and like I said, we're all massively disappointed inside. It's not, it's going to sound silly, but it's not a 3-0 game. Granted, they scored three great goals, avoidable from our point of view, but we've had some good spells. We've hit the post, we've tested their goalie. It's just, it's just they're in the league for for a reason, and we're sort of where we are in the league for a reason. We've got to quickly uh, turn that round and get some points on the board. You're not going to like what well, I'm going to say now, but just for a thought, I'm watching the game, just a little bit of honesty on my part. 
I thought once you fell behind mm. for all your moments you had in the second half and so yep. on I never really thought you were going to get back into the contest uh, no you're right I don't like what you've just said but that's, that's your honest opinion that's that's where we're, that's that's your uh, like I said that's your opinion we felt we did have a chance to get back in the game I thought Aurora was was lively today uh, he was brave and bold in terms of trying to get on the ball and trying to create something for us but it just wasn't to be today was that third goal did that just give a misleading um, perspective on, on what had actually happened out there I think so like I said I don't it's going to sound daft again there's, there's people listening probably thinking you get off you're talking waffle but it wasn't for me it wasn't a 3-0 game look we're chasing the game at 2-0 down if we score at 2-0 that one that hits the post tri trickles in it's 2-1 but we're chasing the game they've hit us on the break and that you have to give credit to them they're at home they've won 3-0 and they're, they're good at what they do As Scusi says, we'd like to reiterate what fantastic support it's been for the uh, users across the whole country for this season. 413 made the journey up to Northampton once again. Wherever we have been, there's been an excellent use following and we dearly love to repay that. We've three points tonight for you all. And on tonight's game, let's take a look at the lineup that Brown, Dunn and Huzzy have selected for the game. Sam Hornby, Luke Chambers, Tommy Smith, Brendan Wiradu. Cole Scoose, Freddie Sears, Aurora Edwards, Noah Chilvers, Miles Kenlock, John Akindi, Cameron Cox. That's the starting lineup for the U's tonight. And on the bench, Shamal George, Alan Judge, Tom Dallison, Corey Andrews, Junior Shamidu, Amir Hughes, and Tyreek Wright. So looking at the starting lineup, I guess that's a 4 4 2 with uh, Brendan and Cole in the middle. And we've got uh, Edwards and Chilvers either side of them. And uh, good to see John Akindi back starting up top with uh, Freddie Sears, of course. So that's the side the boss has selected for this evening's game. And we will be right behind all the lads from the starting whistle, of course. Now for some positive encouragement. It's almost five years since we played Hartlepool here at the JobServe Community Stadium. And the U's, we came out on top in that encounter. So let's take a look back at the goals from the 2-1 win from February 2017. couple of goals there from Porter and Guthrie uh, do sound like a, a, a group from the 70s or the early 80s but uh, we'd certainly like to take three points 
once again against Hartlepool this evening. The last thing from me, just to remember that if you want any messages read out on the show or indeed anything Colby related or on the big screen on a match day, it's media at Colchester United. Dot net and we will get them included. It's time to go and take your seats if you're here at the uh, stadium or head over to iFollow if you're watching from home. Remember that you can watch live from anywhere in the UK and also anywhere around the world for this evening's game. Watch your live for just £10 on iFollow. Let's cheer on the lads and hopefully we will be celebrating three points. I'll be back tomorrow evening for the midweek show once again, hopefully talking about a win. Until then, it's goodbye from me and enjoy the game.